Hey, shalom, shalom. All right, first and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim al Shai, Waharacha Kodash, Wach Yahweh. That's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai. That's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. It's his true name. And the Racha Kodash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And I want to get into a lesson that's concerning about counting the cost and, you know, teaching what you've learned. All right. And, um, you know, past, um, I guess you could say a couple months, there's been a lot of, um, you know, brothers. All right. That have been getting weak. All right. And, you know, basically they've been, um, you know, giving in their walking papers. All right. For whatever reason, you know could be, you know, due to various things, you know, some brothers, you know, they don't want their time being consumed with this truth, all right, you have, um, you know, those that want to spend time with their, you know, uh, with their parents, their family, all right, you know, you, you got, you know, particular brothers that may get offended, all right, you know, by the way, you know, Maybe the apostles teach, the elders teach, so on and so forth, right? There's numerous things, okay? So they hand in their, their walking papers. And at the end of the, of the day, all right, these, you know, particular individuals didn't um, count the cost, all right? You know, they, they really didn't think about, you know, the sacrifices that are going to, um, that they're going to be required uh, to do, all right? They didn't, um... Um, you know, they didn't think about the, uh, the sacrifices. All right. That's first and foremost. All right. They didn't think about the temptations. Okay. As the scriptures say in Sirach too, what if you, if you're going to come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation, right? They didn't think about all the things that are going to, uh, uh, that could possibly hit them. All right. You know, they, they thought it was going to be a smooth ride. Okay. You know, though, we're going to get, you know, get the kingdom in a year, two years. What if you got to wait? All right. Look at the apostles. They, they, they've been in, you know, 30 plus years. Okay. The elder bishops, 30 years. A lot of the uh, elders throughout, uh, you know, GMS, you know, uh, 15 years, 16, 17 years, whatever it may be. Hey, brothers have been, they, they've been waiting patiently. You know, that's something we got to do. All right. Hey, but, you know, guys. They, they want things that, you know, ha to happen on their time and they get offended by that. Okay. So you got to think about all these things. Okay. You see, you got to remember there's going to be loss in this, uh, uh, in this truth. All right. You're going to lose things. Okay. Whether it be your money. Okay. Your reputation, uh, uh, uh your, your family that could go, uh, you know, for your parents, brothers, sisters, wives, children, whatever it is, man. You are going to lose things. Hey, your health. All right. Certain brothers, hey, they, they, they were completely healthy. No issues before this truth. And then next thing you know, they're in the hospital. Got a, a serious disease, a chronic disease, man. Okay. You know, it, 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 and it is what it is. This is a part of the truth, you know, and you got to, uh, uh, when you come into this thing and even as you, um, you know, grow and as the years go by, you always got to count the cost. What am I going to lose? Am I willing to lose these things? And you see, if you're a true man of the Lord or, or a true uh, follower and believer of Yahweh Bashim Shai, you are going to, you know, say that, you know what? I accept that I, I, I can lose all things. All right. For Yahweh Bashim Shai. All right. You have to have that ingrained in your mind. Okay. Because if you don't, guess what? You're not going to make it. You're not. Simple as that. All right, but let me start off with this. Luke 14 and 26. It says, if it says, if any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, uh, his own life is also, he cannot be my disciple. And whosoever doeth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. And I wanted to highlight a, a quick point, you know, in verse 26, when it talks about hating your father, mother, etc., right? That's not necessarily you just, 
you know, cursing them out. Oh, I hate you, mom and dad. And hey, you're eating pork. Oh, uh, 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 um, dad, you're shaving your beard. Mom, uh, you, you, do, you don't have a head wrap on. I can't stand you. No, it's not talking about that. What it means is, look, you cannot let them, um, you know, basically hinder you from, uh, 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 um, from this truth. All right. You cannot have them hinder you from producing. Oh, okay. You see, look, hey, hey, you, hey, you respect them. You honor them. All right. And hey, you live peaceably with all men, as the scriptures say, if possible, you know, hey, 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 hey you talk to people with, re with respect. You know what I'm saying? You deal with them accordingly. All right. You just don't sit there and, and go, you know, go in and go nuts, so to speak. All right. You know, you got to have uh, 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 one balance and two, yeah, you apply wisdom. All right. And hey, as it said in, in verse 27, whoso doeth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. And look, you're going to go through things in this truth. All right. You're going to go through things no matter what. Okay. Let me get a quick one. This is Sirach chapter two. I quoted it earlier. I want to get it now. This is Rock chapter 2, verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. All right, so things are going to come your way. All right, you're going to have to deal with um, a, a spiritual, you know, uh, battles with Satan. All right, you're going to have to deal with, you know, mental, you know, battles. Okay, you're going to have to uh, uh, apply wisdom in this world. You know, you're going to have women come up to you that have men, mind you. And still want to get with you. I've had that happen so many times. Or it'll be on the Sabbath. And you got to restrain yourself. Okay? You got to restrain yourself. You know, you're going to have times where, you know, I'm trying to think. Uh, you know, you, if, if, uh, I'm just using this loosely. You, you might be able to steal something. You know what I'm saying? And there's much more. These are things that are just coming to mind right now. All right? Hey, but you got to fight those temptations. Okay, this is Sirach chapter 2, verse 2. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure, which that word endure goes into suffering when you uh, look it up. You got to constantly uh, 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 suffer and constantly uh, 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 take it, all right? And make not haste in the time of trouble. And that's a key thing because, look, there's going to be particular times in, in, in your walk where that particular affliction isn't going to go away in a day, a week, a month. It, it may take several months, a year, you know, before that affliction goes away. All right. And, you know, I, I can t testify to that. In particular, I, I've had health issues. OK, which I had. It, uh, uh, it was really bad four years ago. The Lord cured me. OK, I had to deal with it for about two months, roughly, if I can remember. The Lord cured me. Came back the uh, the following two years, but very mild. Wasn't too long. It was like maybe a week or two, whatever, you know, had a couple system, symptoms. Then this year it came back heavily again. Okay. And I've been going through it for the past month and a half. It, ha it wasn't as intense as the first uh, uh, time I got this, you know, uh, this, this uh, uh, disease, whatever you want to call it. Right. But it's still affecting me. Okay. But point being though is, I, I have to deal with it. I have to just suffer through it. And through the spirit, the Lord is slowly taking it away again. You know, you're just going to have to deal with stuff. Or I'll say this because I've had this happen. You may have an issue in the brotherhood. OK, you may have, you know, um, a situation that occurs where you, you, you're bumping heads with a particular brother. And now you, 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 you'll have demons all in your mind saying, oh, that's not a man of the Lord. You know, he's going off. You know, he, he he's going to get exposed. You, you're going to have all sorts of, you know, things run through your mind. But you got to get over it, man. Whatever it is. OK, you got to uh, 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 re resolve the issue. OK, be a, hey, you have to uh, be men, talk to one another and squash it. And you have to get hey, you got to rebuke those demons, because trust me, Satan's going to play on on your mind. All right. And it'll be in your own voice. And the end it's going to give you scriptures to justify what you're thinking about. All right. That's how serious this is. You know, or you may have something happen at the job. OK, or with something with, you know, your woman. OK, whatever it may be, there's going to be times where it's going to last. Like I said, it's not going to be necessarily um, a um, 
a, a quick, you know, a, 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 a quick, you know, affliction. All right. So hey, as it says there, make not haste in time of trouble. But what does it say here? Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. So when you're going through all your afflictions, okay, all your trials and tribulations, you have to run to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay? Pray, okay? Pray. That's what you have to do. Not, not, not you know, not run away from it, ignore it. No, R run to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Cleave unto him, okay? And keep crying. Cry unto the Lord, okay? You see? Because that's how you're going to get your uh, your prayers answered. And remember, the Lord doesn't have to answer it right away. You, you, you're going to have to uh, gird up your loins like a man and deal with your affliction and, and just keep praying and, and, and wait for the Lord to help. Because the Lord may not you know, answer you right away. Okay? Remember that. You, you, you may have to suffer for some, for, for some time. And look, the reason why the Lord's making you suffer is to, you know... Um, is to teach you a lesson so you can be more wise. And then two, it's to purify you. Okay? Because at the end of the day, we all need to be purified. Okay? We all have, you know, negative attributes on us. You know what I'm saying? And it's got to get chipped away. And the Lord's going to do it by humbling you. Best believe, man. All right? Um, Let me get this real quick. You got to cast the burdens on uh, uh, your burdens, you know, to the Lord. Let me see if I can find that. I think it's in like James or something. I could be wrong though. Damn man, how is it worded? No, it's in Psalms 55. I believe it's Psalms 55. Give me a moment. This is, uh, it's got to be Psalms 55 or is it 50? Yeah, Psalms 55 and 22. And it reads here, cast thy burdens upon the Lord Yahweh, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. So you got to cast your burdens upon the Lord, okay? You know? Keep praying to the Lord. Keep having faith that the Lord is going to uh, help you out, okay? But the main thing is that you got to be patient, all right? You have to be patient. But let's keep reading. This is uh, Sirach chapter 2, verse 4. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. It says, for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So look, you're going to go through things. The Lord wants you to go through things. He's the one that's actually throwing you in the fire of adversity, the fire of a, 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 or the furnace of affliction, as it says in Isaiah. He's the one that's doing it. Okay. So be prepared to go through things. You know, but at, uh, look, man, at the end of the day, it's going to make you stronger, wiser and more pure. OK, when you go through these things, best believe it. All right. But you got to face it head on. You can't run away from it. And there's times where you're going to want to run away. You're going to want to be like Jonah, so to speak, man. All right. You're going to want to, you know, just you just, you know, you know, sail into the sunset and, and, and not think about it. But the Lord's going to force you, okay, to deal with these afflictions, okay? And let me jump down real quick to verse uh, 13, actually verse 12. This is Sirach 2 and 12. Woe be to the fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinner that goeth two ways. Woe unto him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not. Therefore shall he not be defended. Woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will ye do? When the Lord shall visit you. Okay? And see, a lot of um a lot of individuals, all right, they get you know, um, they get fearful hearts, fake hands, they lose patience, and then they fall out. They give you they they'll give the walking papers. You know, this is not for me, you know, this is too much. I still believe, you know, I'm still gonna do the work, right? But I just got to do it by myself. Why would you want to do it by yourself? That doesn't make any sense. The men of the Lord were always around each other unless, you know, they were, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, separated for, by whatever, uh, uh, for whatever means, you know. 
But when you look at it, you know, uh, throughout the entire Bible, the men of the Lord were always with each other. Okay? That doesn't make sense. I, I, I'm going to do my own thing. I'll be good. Trust me, man. I, I've, I, I've been in this for some time. Now, you may have, of course, that special, you know, case where that man, you know, may, you know, continue to do the work and, and he's on point. But I'm telling you, the, the, nine out of ten times, 99 percent of the time, anybody that decides to do their own thing. All right. They end up getting weak and falling out. Simple as that. Then a lot of times they'll start changing the doctrine and they'll start going into the, you know, into the abyss, into madness. All right. You see. Next thing you know, they, they, they're going to be teaching that the Gentiles can make it. All right. They'll start teaching that um, um, that, that, that Esau is not going to be destroyed. Babylon is, is the Vatican. OK. That you're only going to have one wife in the kingdom. Like, we, we've heard so many bugged out you know, doctrines all right, throughout the years, man. You know, so many bugged out doctrines. You know, and that, that's where, the, and I'll say this, and that's um, where the second part of this lesson comes into. Hey, teach what, what, uh, what, what was taught, man. See, a lot, of, a lot of you guys start, you know, listening to them, the demonic spirits. All right, you don't rebuke them. You start watching, you know, uh, another camp, okay? You start listening to some, I, I, I don't know, some some goddamn Christian, all right? You, you start getting, you know, uh, caught up in your emotions. Next thing you know, uh, you know, what was taught isn't on point, you know? You start, you know, pulling out scriptures, you know, that in your eyes justify, you know, why, you know, your new profound doctrine is on point. When it's not, all right. But let me get this. This is a second. Um, second Timothy chapter three. I'm gonna start at um. I'm gonna start at actually twelve. This is a uh, second. No, I'm going to get straight to the point. We can read this whole chapter, to be honest. But let's get straight to the point. This is 2 Timothy chapter 3. I'm going to start at 12. Yea, and all that will live godly in Yahweh HaMashiach shall suffer persecution. So that goes with the first part of the lesson, all right? You're going to deal with persecution, okay? In all sorts of, you know, forms and variations. You're going to go through it, all right? You're going to go through it. And that's because you're living a godly lifestyle, you know? And this world, which is, you know, anti-Messiah, anti-Messiah and ungodly, they're going to persecute you for that. Hey, this whole society is a misery loves company. They want to drag you down. It's crabs in the barrel. You know what I'm saying? Type of uh, mentality. They don't want you to ascend. They want you to, to, to be with them. They want you to die with them, man. You know? See, it's, <laughs> it's disgusting. Well, look, the elect is going to rise. You can't stop it. But let's keep reading. This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 13. And it reads here, But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Right? Because as the scriptures say, the deceived and the deceiver are his, meaning the Lord's. The Lord will set up all right, a particular man that's being deceived by those evil spirits Okay, those lying spirits as it, that, that's uh, um, talked about what in 2 Kings, you know, they talk about that with, uh, was it King Ahab, you know? But them, hey, them uh, uh, seducing spirits are sent to that, 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 that leader, so to speak, that this, you know what I'm saying? And he starts deceiving, you, you know, uh, 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 th these other uh, uh, um, people out here. So they all can fall into a ditch. So they all can be destroyed. All right? And they wax worse and worse. You know, it starts off, you know, with one thing. And it's like a snowball effect. It just gets bigger and bigger and bigger until these guys just get spiritually destroyed. And then eventually the Lord just takes a lot of these guys out, you know, like legit just puts them to death. And it's good. And you're going to start seeing more of that too, mind you. 
you're going to start seeing more false prophets, fallouts, whatever you want to call these guys, man. You know what I'm saying? Reprobates, scoffers. You're going to start seeing more of them die, man. Get, get literally put to death. Now, some of them are going to be reserved, you know, for the day of judgment. But you're going to start seeing a good chunk of them getting put to death beforehand. And, and it's really a, a warning to, to all, all right, that, uh, that you should fear Yahweh Bashem Shai, okay? That, that, that you need to fear Yahweh Bashem Shai and, and be on point. But let me keep reading. This is 2 Timothy chapter um, 3, verse 14 now. But continue thou in the thing which thou hast learned. You got to continue in the things that you've learned. You can't sit here and start switching up the doctrine. That is madness, man. Okay? If you really believe that the, the apostles of Great Millstone and the elders, you know, the elder bishops on down are the men of the Lord, follow the doctrine. Don't switch it up. Okay? If you have questions about a particular thing, maybe you're confused, ask. There's nothing wrong with saying, hey, you know what? I had a question about this and that. I just want a clarification on it. There's nothing wrong with that. Hey, get the clarification, and then boom. Now you're good to go. All right? But don't a, a, a start, you know, giving heed to these different doctrines, things that you haven't learned. Because that's really a spirit, man. Okay? That's really a spirit that's messing with you. And the thing is, are you going to fold or not to that spirit? Are you going to continue to follow a, the, the, the Yahweh Bashim Yahushan, the true doctrine? Or are you going to start taking heed? To, 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 to what Satan is saying. Okay? And look, there's gonna be guys that are gonna fall. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna listen to that spirit. Because it sounds good. Because at the end of the day, I'll say this. What it what these spirits are doing is feeding their pride and their ego. Okay? And I'm telling you, pride is a uh man, pride is a hell of a destroyer, man. Okay, I've seen guys man just get annihilated all right because of pride and then the lord just starts stripping the the spirit from them and then they just they just go bonkers man they they lose their fucking marbles and it's scary that's why the scriptures say what give me any other plague but the plague of the heart cuz hey if your mind is plagued it's over with you're done you're absolutely done let me keep reading. This is 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 14. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. And you see, this correct doctrine, okay, makes you wise unto salvation through your faith in Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. All right. You see, and I'll say this just a side note. If you have faith, you have works as well. And I'll say this. Everyone has different measures of faith, different, you know, production levels. All right. But one thing I'll say is you will be putting in that work. All right. You will be putting in work one way or another. You see. Let me keep reading. And the reason why I'm making that statement is because going back to what I said, a lot of these guys, they, they, they hand in their walking papers, you know, because they get weak, they get offended. You know, they didn't count the cost. Ultimately, you know, they um, they do what? Oh, I didn't even finish that in, a, in that, uh, uh, in that in, with counting the cost. It's a lock you. You know, we'll go, we're going to go back to that, though. But, um, um. Since they didn't count the cost, you know, they, they decide to hand in their walking papers, do their own thing. And a lot of times they end up not producing. They may do a couple videos here and there. They may do a street teaching here and there. But over time, they end up, you know, uh, 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 vanishing. You never see them again. Can't say that you have faith and have no works. You're going to, hey, I'm going to show you my faith by my works, as it says in the book of James. All right. Let me keep reading. It says, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of Yahweh and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, 
for correction, for instruction in righteousness. And that's heavy, okay? The word of Yahweh Shimei Al Shai is profitable for the, for the true doctrine, for reproof and correction, which you're gonna you're gonna have happen, all right, throughout this um, throughout your walk, you're you, you're gonna you're gonna have to receive some type of reproof and correction, counsel, okay? Sometimes it's mild, sometimes it's it, 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 you know with gentle brothers. Then you're gonna have times where you're gonna get cursed out, man, by by those uh, uh, rough brothers, all right? As the scriptures talk about those um. Forward brothers, as it, as it says, and trust me, man, it's gonna happen. And them forward brothers are gonna go in, but it's out of love, all right, mind you. You know, I, I've had it happen, you know, numerous of times. You know, I, and I'll say this I, I, I don't have a, you know, a grudge or hatred towards those men, all right, towards those brothers. You know, those, those men love me, I, I, I know they do. Look, if they didn't, they wouldn't have they wouldn't have said anything in the first place. You know? But see, you get guys that get offended by that. I don't I didn't like the way you talked to me. Who gives a fuck, man, about your feelings, about how how you felt? It came out how it came out. Hey, you needed that guy. Be a man, gird up your loins, man. Society's got everyone so fucking pussy hurt all the goddamn time, man. It's time it's time, it's, it's time for for us to be masculine again. Put off that old man already. You know? <coughs> this is back in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 17. That the man of the Most High may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Okay? And that's why we need a uh, uh, this... Um, you know, these scriptures. Uh, the, 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 this reproof and rebuke. We need all these things, okay? So, so we can be uh, um, perfected, all right? But let me get this last scripture because I I don't believe I finished this. Um, hold on, give me one second. I don't even know if I started it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I didn't finish it because we started getting into everything else. But let's uh let's finish it off with this. This is uh Luke fourteen, and we'll start at twenty six again. Well, but, you know, we're not going to break it down because um, we already did. This is uh, Luke 14 and 26. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brother and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. And whosoever doeth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. For which of you, int intending to build a tower, and I'll say this, are we not um, building the house uh, 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 of David right now? You know? That's that tower, that building. You know? Hey, if you once you come into this truth, you're now a laborer. Okay? You are now a laborer. You you gotta put in work and you gotta deal with stuff. Like I'll say this, like carnally speaking at the job, right? You're gonna deal with, you know, a, a BS, right? You know, a tool may break. All right. The boss may be getting on you. Hey, your, your co-workers, you know, not, not really doing too much. All right, so on and so forth, right? Things do happen at the job. So with that being said, you're telling me nothing is going to happen with uh, uh, this, this spiritual work? You out your goddamn mind? You know? I said, a lot of you guys need to, uh, to th think about what you're getting involved in. And then two, gird up. That, 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 that's a head. Hey, man, the, brother, the, the elder brother Shikaria, all right, out here in, in, in Chicago, man, he pushes that a lot. Gird up your loins. There was a, just out of nowhere, I think it was like a random, like, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. He just said out of nowhere, that's been on my spirit. Be a goddamn man, basically. You know? Jay got to stop that shit. Because, look, man, it's only going to get harder. What, you think it's going to get easier? Hey, they, they, Esau's going to start hey, um, making it harder to travel. Um, there's going to be more uh, 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 restrictions, more... Uh, 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 what, what do you call those? Uh, unrighteous laws and decrees. Okay. Food prices are going to be going up. You're going to see more uh, home invasions. Uh, uh, robberies. You know what I'm saying? Murders, rapes, kidnappings. This shit is about to get more fucking real, man. Like, and Jake is complaining about little, you know, little shit. What the fuck are you going to do when shit gets real out here? When you haven't ate in a few days. You know what I'm saying? When you're on the go. 
You know? Jake needs to really start fucking thinking about, you know, the times that are, you know, uh, 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 fast approaching. Guys are worried about little things. I didn't like the way he talked to me. The fuck is wrong with you? You gay or something? This is Luke 14 and, 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 and 28. For which of you intended to build a tower, sit it not down first, and count it the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it, least happily after he had laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock him, saying, this man began to build and was not able to finish. And look, when these guys stop doing the work and they go back into the world, best believe those that were watching him, okay, they, they're going to start laughing like, I thought you were one of them black Hebrew Israelites. Now, hey, weren't you just telling me not to eat pork? Now, hey, now we're eating uh, ham together? You know what I'm saying? They're going to be talking shit. But I'll say this. Them demons are going to be happy that you're back. You know? They're going to talk some shit. Then I'll say this, though. Because the scriptures talk about how... Let me see if I can find it because I don't want to butcher it. Hey, look. The men of the Lord are going to scoff you and talk shit with them stammering lips, as the scriptures say, right? But this is what it says in uh, Sirach, the first chapter. Yeah, this is Sirach chapter 1, verse 30. Exalt not thyself, lest thou fall, and bring dishonor upon thy soul. And so the Most High discover thy secrets, and cast thee down in the midst of the congregation, because thou camest not in, in, not in truth to the fear of the Lord, but thy heart is full of deceit. Look, you, it, you, what happens when these guys fall out is, everyone sees it, and I'm saying, uh, us in this, in this know, and now, hey, we, we we scoff, we talk shit, we laugh at you. To you know what I'm saying? Now, hey, we would rather ha have a man repent and, and, and of course get on point. Hey, but if not, hey, you're an enemy now. So we're gonna talk some shit, okay? We're gonna talk some shit, man. Best believe. And it's a shame unto those. Hey, look, you by you falling out, that's a shame unto you, man. That's a shame. You, 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 this world was more important. Your feelings were more important than you. How about Shemuel All right. But let me keep reading. Luke 14 and 30 saying, This man began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king going to make war against another king sitteth not down first and consult whether he be able with 10,000 to meet him that cometh against him with 20,000? Or else, while the other is yet a great way off, he sendeth a... An, Salaki, he sent it in a what is it? A baj? The hell? Oh, Salaki, I might got this old English man. I hate this stuff. Whatever. And desireth conditions of peace. You no, know, that's what it is an ambassador. Salaki, I had this old English. Or else while the other is yet a great great way off, he sent it an ambassador and desireth conditions of peace. So likewise, whosoever he be of you that forsaketh not all that he hath. He cannot be my disciple. So you got to forsake it all, man. Okay? You have to. You have to be prepared to lose everything. And see, Jake, they start they start looking back like Lot's wife, basically. You know? Oh, I lost my home. My family. You know? The, 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 the good old times. Remember when, you know, it, it was fun going to the bars and the clubs? All right? Celebrating Christmas? Thanksgiving? You know what I'm saying? That, 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 that's what they, Jake starts, you know, looking back to, man. Bullshit. Oh, I, 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 you know, being PC so everybody can like me. You know, I, 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 you know, I, you know, I, I got a cool, you know, Chinese buddy. I got a cool, um, you know, Arab buddy. You know, they can make it. They're not that bad. You know what I'm saying? That's what they, they, they go back to, man. That vomit. You know, but hey, the scriptures talk about it. Hey, the dog's going to return to his vomit, man. All right, but, you know, hey, count the damn cost, man. All right, and teach hey, what you've been taught. Because hey, if, if you don't do these things, you're going to get put out and the Lord's going to destroy you one way or another, you know. And with that, you know, I'm going to end this lesson. I got to, you know, get to work and then I'm going to, uh, and we got to get to camp, you know, later. All right, and with that, you know, hopefully this was edifying. With that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to you. How about Shai? 
Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all your brothers out there. Shalom.